Hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, I felt like doing Parasite Eve for the channel. Thought it'd be a good tie into both Halloween and Christmas for various reasons. I'll probably get into that a little bit later. I digress. Uh, something I should probably mention before we start the game. Oh, I could do tutorial. I don't want to do tutorial. Uh, originally, I was doing a collaboration with this one other LP or on YouTube, uh, Midnight52000, I haven't heard from that guy in like forever, he's pretty busy, but I digress, he did this game originally, and I did Parasite Eve 2, which you can check out if you're curious what happens after the events that follow this game, but, uh, you know, take that as you will, throw a card here or there, otherwise, I'm just gonna get this started, because why delay, we gotta experience... Oh man, so if you couldn't tell, we're in New York, obviously, by the Statue of Liberty, and it's Christmas time, because, you know, there's Christmas trees, and it's winter, and it, there's snow, and uh, we, we have a very confused girl, woman. Oh, we're going to an opera, that's pretty legit, but it seems like we're kind of disappointed. But I guess it's time for character introduction time. I have Bria, age 25. Oh, she's a police officer. That's pretty legit. Uh, I could rename her, but I'm going straight up default. Because I feel like it. So, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess she's just like, I don't know. I, I guess I should loosen up. I mean, we're on a date. At least it looks like it. Yeah, see, this guy, he, he's like, I asked you out, we're on a date. Uh, oh, man. His dad got us the best seats. Uh, so I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. Now, one, one problem with this game that I must admit, I walks pretty slow. I mean, I know she's running, but uh, this speed is pretty slow. I could talk to people, but, uh, I don't know, I, we're just kind of starting out. I'm trying to advance the plot as much as possible. We have, we have some character development to get through, so to speak. Oh man, this acting is fantastic. I know I'm the asshole who's talking through it, but uh, I, I feel like I just have to give my two cents. I mean, yeah, I have no idea what kind of opera this is, but I, I love it. You know, it's this guy just really wants to marry this one person and his dad's like, no, is this a real play? I have no idea. If someone wants to enlighten me, please feel free to. Ah, uh, here, here's the award-winning shot right here. <laughs> Father, 
I always like how dramatic he just looks in that one stance. <laughs> Edward, stop being a drama queen. You're really overselling the part. Now, I don't know much about opera, but that's actually pretty legit for the PlayStation. My god, she just went carry. Also, where were we st where were we like where did we store that gun? I I'm just saying she has a dress. I, I don't know. Uh and our date is kind of freaking out being a wuss. Uh I have a status screen. I oh man, I have control. I I guess I have to go confront. I'm still an officer. Uh, granted, off duty, but I have to, I have to go do something. So uh, I, I guess I'll confront Carrie over here. Uh, that's probably not her name, but she pretty much just did everything from that movie, or at least one of the highlights of that movie. So, oh man. Well, there we go. Typical line from the New York police officer. Uh, oh. What's this? What? Awakening? What, what are you talking about? The Force? Midichlorian? Listen, your cells are trying- Oh man, Midichlorians. She's a Jedi. Or she has the Force or something. Also, she, she's totally following my movement. Oh, she has... I'm not close enough. She has... Force laser. Oh, man. Apparently, I'm not doing jack shit to her. What's that? Oh, man. Do I have the force? I have the force. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, just a... Uh, oh, man. So she knows I have force powers. Unfortunately, I don't think I can actually use them. Also, she hit me. That's not very cool. Granted, I don't. All I have is a pistol. But I know what I'm doing. I've played this game before enough to have a good idea how to go about things. Uh, which is kind of nice because you can move during battle. I kind of like it. It's a little bit different from the typical turn based RPG. Uh, our bodies are communicating with each other. Is that how. Jedi's work, like having the Force. Can you just do that? Uh, I I have no idea. The more you use that power, the more you will become like. I don't know if I want to be like you. I mean, you're kind of lighting people on fire. You kind of have some freak stuff going on. Uh, Eve. Oh, her name is Eve. They should, oh, okay, so apparently I should know something? Th this is all 
really weird, I gotta be honest. I think we're having a flashback. I mean, sure, it's probably foreshadowing and the game's gonna explain it, but at the same time, I mean, you're just throwing a bunch of stuff at me. I have no idea what's going on. Um, did she just implant a flashback into my head? And she's levitating. Man, this is getting pretty weird. Uh, I did say it was tying into Halloween because some weird stuff goes on. And let me tell you, it gets pretty horrific. So if you're not ready for that, be aware. Things are going to get crazy. I know she's down there. Oh man, I... Wait, did you call for... Who called the police? Uh, well, before that... First up, this looks like I can interact with it. Knew it, medicine. That's basically a potion. We'll get stronger variants of it, but for the time being, uh, I guess we should probably console our backup. So I'm gonna go do that. Unfortunately, again, we walk pretty slow, so I, I don't really know what else to do other than just take my time strolling along, figuring out how to go about this. Normally, it's uh, normally it's not so bad. It's just the beginning is kind of like uh, there's not much to do. Have to get from point A to point B, and unfortunately, oh man, that looks like a burnt corpse. Or a dog turd. I really can't tell. I mean, one or the other. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look, just because I'm in a dress does not mean I'm a cop. Um, Alright. She's being cautious. Uh, Alright. Apparently, that's where she stored her gun, too. I mean, that's the only way I could see... Her storing anything. Uh, unless this dress has pockets, but I kind of doubt that. Don't have any injuries. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Um, what about our date? <laughs> I mean, I don't think he got burnt. I don't think there's any ex explanation for that, except we were next to him. Uh, maybe we do have some sort of force powers. Also, this guy has bullets. Uh, ammo is not going to become an issue later on in the game, but I will take all I can from this guy. Actually, I think that's enough. He does eventually run out of bullets, so you will only get so much, but it's not that big of a deal. Also, this paramedic just patched us up. That's very nice of him. Don't have to waste that medicine. So anyways, I guess I could cut it back to the hole. And now we're back at the hole. You didn't need to see me walk all the way over here. So I guess now I gotta jump down. Now that my backup knows that I'm here and I got all the extra items that I could get. Whoa. Um, kid? Uh, it was a ghost kid all along. That, that's a little freaky. That's a little scary, right? No? Oh, man. She knows who it is. Or at least she has an idea, but at the same time, I mean, Ghost Kid. I, I'm freaking out. And you might not be, but let me tell you. Things get a lot more scarier. And in a second... Look, I know the graphics are a bit dated, but back in the day, whew, 
things that scare Gildum immensely. This, that that scene. Also pretty easy. That was a rat. What happened to it? God help me. I don't know. I mean, concepts are thrown out like evolution. Uh, pretty radical if you ask me. Wait, Eve did that to a rat? WTF, man. Well, I guess for all intents and purposes, I'm in a new area and I can explore, but for my money, I'm going to end it off here. So next time, uh, rooms, random encounters. Will I die? Will I be okay? Will I sleep well tonight? I don't think we'll have any answers for that, except uh, no.